Ooh, time to get this paper, man. Yeah, what up, game? What up, squad? It's your boy, Ethereum. The realistic, the trilogy, young king. On two platforms as we speak. Welcome back to the banger game. So we got my dog Jamari back in the building, man. We got this can't be real life. No, uh, I think this is about Mike Tyson and uh, goddamn Jake Paul fighting. Um, I don't know why Mike Tyson would do that because the reason why I say that is because Jake Paul ain't no slouch. Now Jake Paul do be fighting weak nigga, whatever the case may be. But he's still be in shape and, you know, he can last. So, like, Mike Tyson is almost 60. You feel me? I don't want Mike Tyson to get his reputation tarnished off of one measly fight. You feel me? Like, he shouldn't even get back in the ring. I know he's chasing the money. I heard he was still rich. So, I don't know what the hell he's doing. We're going to go ahead and check it out, man. If you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers. Y'all want me to check out why is this YouTuber traveling swing? Damn, I'm about to react to that tomorrow. Because it's too late. It's already 1 o'clock and I'm still reacting. But I got to get this out for y'all guys, man. Let's get it. Bang. I don't know. Man, this is going to be the biggest thing Jake Paul has ever done. And if Mike Tyson gets knocked out, this will be the worst loss in boxing history beat li uh sunny listing and barely touched them oh if someone's ever made me eat my words so fast i mean i just made my video on how the last couple of jake paul fights have drawn little to no interest because jake has essentially been out here fighting absolute nobodies who are far past their prime and while he did knock one of them out cold, Ooh, and he damn. finished the other one within the first round, people really did not care, and it seemed like he was drawing less and less interest with every single fight. Now in my defense, in that video I did say that Jake might have some juice left in the entertainment tank, but that he was going to have to go back to fighting people with much higher social profiles. I was predicting yeah. KSI, maybe Ryan Garcia, but with him now fighting the man who is arguably the most recognizable boxer on planet Earth right now, this will definitely yeah. drum up a lot of interest. I don't care if there is some 30 year age gap. I mean, you got a guy that was on Disney Channel <laughs> stepping into the ring with an absolute killer. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. And Welcome to Flatiron School. This is where you learn how the future Jake, works. you done fucked up now, my boy. The whole point of education is to get you a job and a career. And that's something a lot of people are going to want to see whether you like Jake or not. This was just some of the initial reaction. Jake Paul's a good boxer and Mike's obviously not in his prime anymore. Oh, you don't say. But if Mike loses or this is a tie, then we absolutely know for sure that this is faked or at least staged. I mean, I'm predicting right now that no one's going to get knocked out in this fight. I don't know if there will be a no knockout clause in the contract, but I just can't really see that happening. I mean, you got this guy who's really mad. He says, I said it once and I'll say it again. Jake Paul claiming to be a boxer while preying on retired combat sports athletes who have sustained careers worth of injuries is one of the most utterly pathetic displays of cowardice I've ever seen in my entire life. Cowardice. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Stop encouraging this clown. You're a joke. Netflix, you're also a joke for promoting this as well. I mean, everyone he's fight has had to agree to get into that ring. And you know what their encouragement is? The money, baby. I mean, hey, if someone wants to toss me a cool million, they can knock me the f*** out. I'll for happily sure. lay my head on all the money that night. And at the end of the day, dude, it's really all entertainment. Like I said, the f***er was on Disney Channel. It's not like he was some trained athlete. And Bro, I think this is the most reasonable brother. response to this announcement. I hate myself that I'm going to watch this. Because anything with Jake Paul is almost like passing by a car accident. You don't want to watch, but you can't really take your eyes off of it. Man. I also thought this was hilarious. People were predicting this is how the fight was going to go. <laughs> now, if this was back oh, in the day, I mean, Mike that. Tyson might catch a murder charge. Like, let's say it was a celebrity back in the day and he wanted to fight Mike. Oh, I think he would have made a point to knock the f*** out of him. And here is the oh, official head-to-head. -head. You guys can see that beautiful 30-year age gap. Jake's got the 9-1 record against a bunch of milkmen and plumbers, while milkmen Tyson has the 50-6 and six against some of the greatest fighters of all time. I mean, 50 wins and 44 knockouts is 
freaking insane. You know, I'm a little bit too young to have witnessed Tyson in his prime, but my parents always tell me I stories about, oh, you know, we bought the pay-per-view, we had the whole family over, everyone stayed up all night to watch the main event, and then you better not get up and go to the bathroom, because that shit was over in 12 <laughs> seconds when Mike was around. Uh, and obviously, slump. Mike is not going to be no pushover. This guy still looks insane in his training footage. Bro, training is one thing. Boxing is another. Jake Paul will outlast him, bro. That's the only way he's gonna win is he's gonna outlast him. I would not, you would have to literally pay me a hundred thousand dollars or hell, probably more than that, just to spar with this dude. He's damn near close to punching the I mean, this is a damn near 60 year old man with insane movement. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I, I might eat my words. I might eat mine too. I mean, I won't lie to you guys. If Mike Tyson walked through my door right now and hit me with one of these combinations, I would die. He would send me into the TV and there would be no more tan Superman. There's just a look at the official event poster. And this is kind of a groundbreaking event with it being live on Netflix. I don't know if they've ever hosted a boxing match. I mean, as you guys can see per the Jake Paul announcement, they have 260 million people using Netflix right now, apparently including 500 million homes. Mike Tyson apparently has talked about the prospect of fighting Jake Paul in the past. Jake Paul is obviously, you know, he's big. beautiful. My kid, my, my family loves Jake Paul. Could you f him up? Oh, I'm so f easy. I would never. <laughs> I believe it's my family. Everybody loves this little white mother. When you say white boy with balls, you know, f I'm talking about from real, but like, f you, mother. I mean, Mike, I would say that 99% of people out there are rooting for you to get the knockout, for you to bounce this man's head off the canvas once and for all. It's not gonna happen. Of course, the KSI fans came out the woodwork to try and discredit this bout, saying two years ago Mike Tyson was using a cane to walk. Jake Paul should be ashamed. Yeah. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you, brother. You looking good, Mike. You you know, you're welcome. He also posted up this news story saying, Ain't no way Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson, man. Mike Tyson is pictured in a wheelchair at the Miami airport raising new fears for his health amid problems with sciatica just weeks after he morbidly claims his death is coming real soon at age 56. I mean, you already know how I feel about KSI. I don't really think the guy has any morals. I kind of see him almost as a darker shaded Logan Paul. And the funniest <laughs> part about this to me is if KSI came out and announced that he was fighting Mike Tyson, the guy who runs this Twitter page would probably jerk himself off to the news that night. I mean, seriously, though, if you are over the age of 13 and you're running a fan account for another man, it's time to reevaluate your entire life. For I mean, sure. keep in mind, at one point, KSI was lined up to fight this 40-year-old man right here who had a 3-20 and record. And instead, KSI ended up boxing this guy, and here's how the fight ended. Right here, I think. Right to the body. Right here, the right hook. Oh, oh. oh it's an elbow. elbow to the fucking jaw. Right here, the right hook. Oh, oh. oh was that now, to be fair to KSI, at this point in the match, he was absolutely whooping this guy's. Is that illegal or not? Like, what is that? Does that count as a knockout, or like, is that illegal? Ass. But he has still failed to acknowledge this elbow altogether. And he runs around acting like he's the biggest, baddest guy in town. I thought they were, I was getting up slowly because I thought they're counting because it was a clear, I felt the elbow. I saw the punch go past my face and then it hits me with an elbow. What punch was it exactly? Like? It was a left it was a right, right hand. hand. Right hand goes past and then it hits me. They have it all, it's gone, it's gone viral so everywhere. Literally, I felt bone. Like, he, he should be disqualified. That should go down as a loss. You can't sure. walk up to someone in boxing and elbow them. It's not Muay Thai, for it's sure. not MMA. So that's how he felt about getting elbowed in his jaw. No, Someone sure. said watching Jake Paul do a Fortnite dance over an unconscious 60 year old Mike Tyson. <laughs> nah man, it can't go down like that. That cannot happen. It's in the contract. I don't think Jake Paul could check his chin either way, but...
Either way, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this situation. You Jake Paul fanboys came for me quick. You said, oh, your video aged like milk. Where's the update? Well, here it is, guys, and I want to know what you think down below. Are you going to be hate watching this? Do you think it's about as real as the WWE? I mean, I just see it as yet yeah, another piece of good entertainment, to be honest. It's like watching that train wreck Love is Blind. You got girls out here calling themselves Megan Fox. Gay mm. guys out here gaslighting women. It's crazy. Netflix on some other what? shit. But either way, y'all know it's been your boy, That's the great. Tan Superman. And some the other Tan boxing Superman. news out here needs to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah. And that Ryan Garcia video is coming soon. Oh, can't wait to watch that. Got to run. Question. Asked, Would you build a website? Sorry, y'all. What do y'all think? Uh, is it fake or real? I think it's real. Now, do I think that Jake Paul is going... I don't know. I don't know. Wait and see. I think they said it's in July. Wait. June or July. Wait and see. But y'all can put y'all's comments down below right now. Do y'all think it's real or do y'all think it's fake? Is it just stage? Is it just for the money? I know it's just for the money. But are they really going to throw hands? Are they really going to try to like like fight full throttle? You know what I'm saying? Put in the comments below. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Daddy, what you got to say? Ice Ice, can you say the same thing every time? Oh, yeah, that's that's Papa. All right, gang, we gone, man. Don't forget to don't forget to hit that comment section below.